sorry, Nance. We're fresh out of ideas. Nothing that a few cookies won't fix, though. Call back soon. Seems pretty obvious, Nance. We don't want to spoil your fun. You don't need us for this one. Definitely not. I'm stumped. Ditto. I'm at a loss for words. Think of it as a blessing in disguise, Nance. I don't know. Me neither. Keep up the good work, detective. Yeah, you're doing great. Watch, Watch out, out for weird, weird people. people. Good luck. Be careful. Good luck. Be careful. How about a little snooping? Detectives are great at that too, Bess. How about a little eavesdropping? That's the type of thing detectives do best, isn't it, George? Better get that projector running. It's now or never. This is the 11th hour, Nancy. Keep your wits about you. Saving Maya is the only thing that matters. Gee, Nancy. Seems like the next step is right in front of your nose. So many new developments, Nancy. You must have a lot of questions. Don't let us hold you up. Don't you have some evidence to report? Isn't it about time to put your suspects through another round of questioning? We shouldn't keep Nancy. Not when she's just been paged. Don't you have some discoveries to report? Don't you want to find out how the police investigation went last night? Gee, Bess, I guess she's lost interest in that box. Seems that way, George. Maybe the basement stairs have tuckered her out. Getting the first coin was a stretch. Getting the second coin will be more of a dance. George, would that be the two-step or the tango? Check out that old beat the magician game down in the basement. You'll need a magic grabber to reach that coin. See what you can put together. The missing parts for that box must be in the theater somewhere. The picture on that box needs unscrambling. There must be some important evidence tucked away somewhere in that basement. See if there are any secret compartments down there. See if Nicholas has had any success with his research. That crate is blocking the door to the basement. You're gonna have to figure out how to hoist it out of the way. <sighs> Apparently, sound effects will help. Focus your efforts on getting into the basement. If you study up on J.J. Thompson and the history of the theater, you'll probably begin to get some insight into how the place was built. Maybe. You can get some inspiration from that stage technician's guide. Think of it as an insurance policy. Right. If you don't solve this case, you'll be well on your way to a backup career. Sounds like there's more to the architecture of that theater than meets the eye. You'd better figure out how you're going to get the lay of the land. I bet the key to that drawer in the men's dressing room is long gone. You'll just have to find something to jimmy the lock with. Get to know your suspects. See if they've got credible alibis. Check out Nicholas's political pamphlets. Maybe something there will give you a lead. Sure, Nancy, but don't expect us to give you the answers on a silver platter. We wouldn't want to spoil your fun. Seeing as how you're a senior detective and all. They don't call us your trusty sidekicks for nothing. Another phone call? What was the threat? This one came over the PA. Apparently, searching for Maya is a waste of time and I should focus on stopping the demolition or else. Well, Nancy, this kidnapper may have learned your name, but obviously, they haven't figured out the first thing about who they're dealing with. I just wish I could see the look on the kidnapper's face when you crack this case wide open. Go Sherman! But suppose he does find something. What good will the document do you in Washington, D.C.? Oh, um, he said he'll send it to me on a slide. But how are you going to decipher the writing on a tiny frame of film? It's a movie theater, remember, Bess? One of those places where they project small images onto a big screen? Oh, yeah. Except the projector is broken. Broken? I think the bulb blew when I was using it earlier. Sounds like you need to give yourself a crash course in projector repair. Cool. Like pulling a rabbit out of a hat? Like sawing my cousin Bess in half? Nothing quite that sensational, ladies. But I did learn how to use a pencil to reveal a secret message. Ooh, that could come in handy. How does it work? Well, if someone writes something, let's say it's a secret code on a piece of paper, and they press hard with a pen, it will make an impression on a blank piece of paper underneath. Yeah? Then the magician applies a pencil to the seemingly blank piece of paper. With careful shading, the pencil will reveal the shapes of the numbers or letters in the code. Presto! Do you see? That's pretty cool. I can only imagine what would happen if we applied the pencil to Bess. Just think of all the secret codes that would be revealed. Like Jacques, Rick, Brady. Oh, George, I'm not as impressionable as you think. That's terrible. I can see why he's so dedicated to saving the theater then. 
Yeah, I'd like to learn more about this J.J. Thompson. Maybe you can help Nicholas get his grandmother the credit she deserved. I told him I'd keep my eye out for anything that would prove her connection to this place. I wonder if J.J. left any of his personal effects behind. If he did, I'm sure they're gone now. His kids must have cleared the place out when they remodeled in 1956, a few years after he died. That's when it became a movie theater. You never know, Nancy. If there's one thing your detective work proves every time, it's that old buildings are the keepers of old secrets. Let's just hope this building lives long enough to tell. What's the deal with had it? Nicholas says he's sworn to slay the dragon of corporate generica. All in favor of men who slay dragons, say aye. Honestly, Bess, what are we going to do with you? Nancy, what in the world is... Generica. I think it's a term for what this country would be like if suddenly it all looked the same. Oh. You mean, if it became generic? Like a bar of soap. That's just called soap. Right. Haddit believes that protecting historical buildings is key to preserving our national character. That sounds noble. Yeah, except he practically jumped for joy when I told him the kidnapper's motive is to save the theater. Uh-oh. Sounds like you better keep an eye on him, Nancy. What? Isn't that creepy? You don't know who it was from? It was from the kidnapper, I assume. The note said something like, wouldn't you rather stop the demolition than plan a funeral? Since when do kidnappers have the time to special order flower arrangements? Apparently this kidnapper isn't afraid of the limelight. Look at the bright side, Nancy. If you find out who sent that wreath... Your case is as good as closed. Well, wholesome makes me think of apple pie. And to smolder, according to my trusty dictionary, is to burn slowly from the inside, without flame. So, he's a sweetie pie on the outside, but too hot to touch. Oh, did you have to bring this up with Bess here, Nancy? It seems like the two things don't go together. One is safe, the other is dangerous. Interesting. Maybe that's Brady's whole dilemma. He doesn't know whether he's a good guy or a bad guy. Which is exactly why he can't be trusted. Bess, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Here's what I'm thinking. When has the lack of an invitation ever stopped Nancy Drew before? Is that what you're thinking? Bingo! So you think I should just barge right in? Better yet, why not just listen in? That way you know things that Simone and the others don't know you know. You know? Bess has a few rocks in her mouth, but she's right. And besides, there's another good reason to keep a low profile. I know what you're thinking, George. When the cats are away, the detective mouse will snoop. Ah, you have a point there, ladies. This might be my only chance to get some, uh... Insight? Yes, some insight into the lives of my suspects. Good idea. We're full of them. Right, Bess? Chock full! Bursting at the seams. We're practically idea -phoric. You know what they say. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Even for a kidnapping? It's like Hollywood has taken over her brain. I'm practically in tears over Maya, and she's trying to dream up a stage name for me. A stage name? Not just any stage name, either. Would you believe Fancy Jackson? Ooh, Nancy, that's kind of disco. I bet she could pull it off. This is serious, you guys. Do you really think she would kidnap Maya just so Brady could pretend to save her? In her line of work, Nancy, anything's possible. You don't think Maya could be mixed up with him somehow, do you? No way. Maya expresses her politics by writing about them. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword. She and Nicholas Falcone... Don't even speak the same language. I think you're right, George. But Sergeant Ramsey said I wouldn't have any credit with the police if I joined forces with Nicholas. Who said anything about joining forces? After all, he's still a prime suspect. But that doesn't mean he's not a valuable source of information when it comes to the theater. She's right, Nancy. As long as he continues to shoot off his mouth, you want to be around to take notes. He sounds like a big help. Yes, but the woman on the phone said that the blueprints are missing. Official records? Missing? She said that a man was in last week looking at them, but they haven't been seen since. The kidnapper? Or a certain smoldering sidekick? Well, whoever it was, they must have taken the blueprints with them. 
How on earth am I going to find all the secret rooms and passages in this place now? I'm not worried, Nancy. Me neither. You could probably find a secret passage in a paper bag. Are you kidding, George? Nancy could find a secret passage in a blueberry muffin. A fresh start. Good for him. Yeah, except that I found a letter that says his brother has been dead for years. Why would he lie? What do you think he's hiding? Give the guy a break. Maybe he just wants to hide the fact that his life is going to be empty without that theater to look after. What? You're kidding! And now the police really think I'm losing my marbles. Joseph, he's the only one who knew about your discovery, isn't he? Yeah, he said he'd show the police where to go. And wait a second. When I came up from the basement, I bumped into Brady wandering around backstage. Interesting. Yeah, he seemed surprised to see me. What did you tell him? I guess I did let on that I'd found some evidence. Gee, Nancy, if you wanted the whole world to know, why didn't you just broadcast it on national television? Please, George, I feel bad enough. Now it's the day of the demolition and I'm still clueless. That's not true, Nancy. You've made significant progress. Maybe you should focus on trying to stop the demolition. Aren't you expecting a package? Indeed I am. If Sherman Trout really is a man of his word, that is. She sounds better already, huh, George? She's lucky we don't charge her for these calls. The detective support hotline could get awfully expensive. Call me back when you know more. I'll get a hold of George and Ned and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she's got you on the rescue mission. Do Maya's parents know? They always travel this time of year, remember? And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been so personally attached to a case. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not convinced it's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Alakazam? Sergeant Ramsey says it could be a prank. Or Maya might have just taken off or something. Sergeant Ramsey obviously doesn't know Wash U's most dedicated reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. Well, snap out of it, Nancy. Calling the police is a no-brainer. I know, I know. Hi, you've reached Bess Marvin's room. I'm either busy online or else I've stepped away from my post. Call me later. Hello? Hello? I got it, George. Is it Nancy? I don't know yet. I'm busy talking to you. Will you hang up? It's Nancy, all right. I knew it. Hey, you two. I don't know, Bess. She sounds a little down in the dumps, doesn't she? <sighs> she sure does. What's going on, Nancy? I just can't believe it. The evidence I found yesterday, the pizza boxes and Maya's shoe. When the police finally came to investigate, it was gone. Hello. Bess? And George, too. What's new, Nancy? Hello. It's me again. Hi, Nancy. I've got George here, too. Bess filled me in, Nancy. Any developments? I'm just searching the theater, questioning suspects. And? Hello. It's me again. Hi, Nancy. Any developments? Hello. Bess? What did the police say? According to standard procedure, they can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. Hello. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy, it's about time. How's St. Louis? Something terrible has happened. Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed, and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh, my gosh. Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? I received a threatening phone call. Somebody wants desperately to stop this demolition, and they're holding Maya as a bargaining tool. That's terrible. Have you called the police? Not yet. I guess I've been a little stunned. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy, it's about time. How's St. Louis? Something terrible has happened. Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed, and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh, my gosh. Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? I received a threatening phone call. Somebody wants desperately to stop this demolition, and they're holding Maya as a bargaining tool. That's terrible. Have you called the police? I called, all right, but get this. According to standard procedure, they can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. Look! The Marquis! Stop the demolition! Wow! Evidence! Where?
Oh, Nancy! Hey! Hey, you! Bye! I'm here if you need me. Don't be a stranger! You betcha! Cool beans! Wow, are you sure? I didn't see anything. <laughs> then what did she want to talk to me for? I'm an actor, not a politician. Just pass him in the hall. He was looking for you. Well, Maya was kidnapped from my dressing room, after all. I just can't help thinking maybe they meant to kidnap me. I... Well, I was late getting back from a haircut. I... Uh, this is hard for me. I think my hairline might be receding. It's miserable. Simone's gonna go through the roof. Charmstrong. Me? You think I kidnapped Maya and then breezed in here just four minutes later? Where would I hide her? In my back pocket? Be my guest. Hundreds? Try thousands. Well, uh... I thought you said it was about me. When people think of Brady Armstrong, they think sparkling white teeth and healthy glow. Success glows. It doesn't crumble and sag. The hero never rides a has-been horse. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to rally a wrecking crew. Evidence that no one was able to verify. Who's to say you didn't imagine that stuff? When I saw these ritzy theme restaurants popping up all over the country, it hit me like pow. My first original idea. Brady Armstrong's Planet Tinseltown. Can't you see it on the marquee? Grand opening. The lights will say it all. Never underestimate the power of image, Nancy. You are what you project. He's an outlaw, and he's using you. He's a confused old codger. You're the only one who thinks she's here. There's no evidence. Sorry, Nancy. Look, you're not thinking clearly. It's obvious she's not in the building. We've searched everywhere. I didn't kidnap her. I found her notepad in the basement with the press pass. I just thought I'd hang on to it for a few days until the dust settles. The place is shabby. It needs major repairs. It's a money pit and a has-been. Not the image I want to project. Okay, Nancy, here's the deal. My real name is Brady Thompson. Simone pushed for Armstrong more wholesomely smoldering, she said. Huh? I'm afraid you've lost me. I've sworn to be the captain of my own destiny. Maya was going to expose me, muck up my name in this controversy. It would have been a dark cloud over the launch of Tinseltown. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm Wave of the Future, Inc. The owner of this theater, great nephew of JJ himself. Just trying to help. That guy's bad news, and he's certainly not going to help your credibility with the police. It's more complicated than you think. Listen, I've got to get ready for this press conference. I'll talk to you later. It's Simone. She's relentless. I'm just a hostage on her runaway bus. Please, Nancy. It's not me. I found it in the basement. Uh, I mean the balcony. <clears throat> it was the balcony. Roger. Sure thing. How can I help? They're the ones who are flipping out over saving this theater. Nicholas Falcone and his tree hugger pals. Those stinking radicals. Goodbye, Nancy. I hope you find your friend. <clears throat> Star of Vanishing Destiny? Go ahead, faint. I'll catch you. But where could they have taken her? What did they say? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. Kidnapped? She's been setting up Premier HQ in the women's dressing room. Haven't you heard her snarling at people on the phone? Simone Mueller, CEO of my life. Uh, I mean, my agent. Focus on being wholesomely smoldering, she says, and leave the rest to me. So I do. All my email go through Simone. She reads it, she writes back. Control issues, you know? Off the record? Any message that says love, Brady, is just a big electronic smooch from her. Remind me not to appoint you president of my fan club. So what was your friend doing in my dressing room? Take a breath and pinch yourself because it's really happening. Brady Armstrong in the flesh. Any news? Hey, you. What are you doing hanging out with that Falcone jerk? Not now, Nancy. Need any help? How are you holding up? No groupies in the dressing rooms. But since you're such a rascally fan, what would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Six minutes till demolition. Three minutes till demolition. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. Jimmy, is that ball ready to swing? The Library of Congress. You don't happen to have that number, do you? <coughs> well, I should have this letter from Shermy around here somewhere. Cat food coupons. Vincent Jack has a repair. There you station. Here we go. Library of Congress, Washington, D.C.
800-555-5000. Thanks, Mrs. Andropov. You've been a great help. Save it for my funeral. I know it was a long time ago, Mrs. Andropov, but this is terribly important. My friend is in danger, and finding out what happened to Houdini's half of the theater may be my only hope of saving her. Call the Library of Congress. Ask about the Houdini collection. There must be something in all of those letters. You tell that Sherman Trout, you stay, she said. You are not dead yet, Shermy, so get up and make yourself useful. Did someone in Houdini's family inherit the theater? Harry made a plan to give his half of the theater to someone he admired. A young magician, I assume. Perhaps a protege. I remember my husband telling me this. Can you tell me anything more? More? I'm 96 over here. I don't exactly have time to burn. I'm researching Mr. Houdini's ownership of the Royal Palladium Theater. Would you know anything about this? He owned it. Half of it anyway. For a few months. Then he died. Does that help? Do you know what happened to his half? Did he sign it back over to J.J. Thompson? Return it to James Jehuzafat? Mr. Stupendous? Not on his life. Losing that man was Harry's greatest escape. Oh, Mrs. Andropov, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm trying to find out some information about Harry Houdini. Is it true that you're his cousin? Who wants to know? Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case in St. Louis. Harry was only my cousin by marriage, but my husband is dead, and so is Harry. So I guess that makes me nobody's cousin. Satisfied? Yes, hello. Hello. Is this Eustacia and Dropoff? Who else would it be? Everyone else is dead. Uh, oh, okay, folks, we're about to get started here. Uh, Mrs. Mueller and Mr. Armstrong will do their best to answer all of your questions in the time allotted. Uh, uh, but let's proceed with, with good manner, shall we? Did you call? What do they say? You've got to call them, Nancy. They might really be able to help. I'll wait up for the police. You get some rest, Nancy. You're going to need it for tomorrow. Evidence. That should interest the police. Have you called them? The kidnapper must have moved her. But what do you mean, gone? She left? Are you sure you didn't just imagine you saw her? You found her? Oh, that's great. Where is she now? What happened? <sighs> Hold on. The magician's room. <laughs> I swear, Nancy, as long as I've worked here, I've never been able to find my way in there. Nancy? For goodness sakes. What are you doing down there? This chair seems to be stuck. <sighs> Hold on, I'm greasing the wheels here. Who's there? Well, they must have taken her through that secret passageway. Holy smokes! And you're on an inside line. That call must have come from inside the building. We gotta act quick. You check out the secret passageway. I'll make sure all the exits are locked, and then I'll come find you. Well, they must have taken her through that secret passageway. Disappeared from the men's dressing room? What makes you think she was taken? Now, now, please try to calm down and tell me what's going on. What's your name, dear? Um, this is Joseph Hughes, the caretaker. I'm looking for Brady Armstrong. He said he'd be there. Who's this? And what's all the excitement? You'll never get away with this. Do you hear me? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Listen carefully. If they knock the theater down, a girl goes with it. What? Who is this? Hello? Hello? Listen carefully. If they knock the theater down, a girl goes with it. Bye. Don't let the turkeys get you down. Chin up. a girl. I never meant for it to turn out this way. You've got to call them, Nancy. They might really be able to help. I'll wait up for the police. You get some rest, Nancy. You're going to need it for tomorrow. Evidence. That should interest the police. Have you called them? The kidnapper must have moved her. But what do you mean, gone? She left? Are you sure you didn't just imagine you saw her? You found her? Oh, that's great. Where is she now? What happened? Oh, fine. Everything's great. Fine. Fine. I was up till the wee hours polishing up the lobby. Heck, I, I'm even fixing to repair the old key maker so you can give it a whirl. Guess old habits die hard, eh? Now, now. I am going to Greasewood, and I'm not desperate. I made up the part about my brother so you wouldn't feel sorry for me. You've got enough to worry about, don't you? Now, what you want to go digging into an old man's life for, Nancy? The projection room? But who? Someone must have ducked out of the press conference. I was so busy with crowd control, I didn't even notice. What do you mean? Oh, Nancy, thank goodness you're okay. Nicholas has been hanging around this theater since he was a little boy. I know how torn up he is about the theater. This will be over soon enough, and then he'll go home. 
I don't think he's dangerous, for gosh sakes. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society's been working like the dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he, uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. Old J.J. Owner. Visionary. Wheeler dealer. J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. But I bet it wouldn't be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And then you could make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Or send a key to your sweetheart. Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're going to put one on the map. I got some money saved. Can you believe the way she diverted all of the attention away from Maya and used the poster to promote Brady as the big hero? This shouldn't be happening. It's all backwards. I can't say for sure, but I can make an educated guess. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. I don't know how the press got a hold of this, but they're all over it like ants on a picnic. Uh, let's hope the kidnapper just did this to scare you. Don't tell him, Nancy. Don't tell him she's here, Nancy. Or they'll take her away and knock down the theater. Do you think the premiere will sell out? I think a fresh coat of paint would really cheer things up, don't you? I've decided I need to get organized, Nancy. Tomorrow I'm really going to straighten up in here. Follow your gut, Nancy. If you think Maya's still here, you keep looking for her, you hear? No trace of that either. They searched the whole building. Are you sure the pizza boxes were in that magician's room? Because the police couldn't find anything. Apparently, the call came from north of here, a town called Granite City. Personally, I think it's a hoax. But now the police are convinced that Maya's not in this building. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. You won't be any help to Maya if you get too tired to think. Give the police a call. Give the police a call. And then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. He didn't say. I should think so. Brady found it. Try calling county administration. The records division keeps that type of stuff. I bet a blueprint would show secret passages that even I've never found. Ask for the original plans, not the ones from the 56 remodel. This is not something to take on alone, Nancy. You better call. Anyway, J.J. Thompson, the original owner, died in 1950. His kids inherited it and decided that movie theaters were the wave of the future. Completed in 1925, the vision of one J.J. Thompson. I spent the last 40-something years finding my way around this place, so let me know if I can help. Who knows why they did it? The important thing is to get her back. Now, what's your plan of attack? Don't mention it, dear. This life? Gosh, no. I enjoy playing movies for folks, but showbiz, <laughs> that's something else. This life? Gosh, no. I enjoy playing movies for folks, but showbiz, <laughs> that's something else. That's the spirit. And Maya's a reporter, right? What you yelled it in my ear when I called down to the dressing room earlier. Remember? She's a little intense. Probably a showbiz thing, but... I don't guess anything in L.A. has prepared her for the likes of Nancy Drew. Oh, I think so. Or maybe Brady told me when I saw him in the hall. He seems eager to help. I reckon if the kidnapper wants the demolition stopped, they must be keeping Maya somewhere in the building. Well, they sure grow ornery out there in California, don't they? <laughs> I was up here in the projector room, sound testing for the premiere. But I'd be disappointed in your detective work if you didn't put me through the ringer like a regular suspect. Well, I've only got this one pair of eyes, so I can't say 100%. Well, I checked all the outside doors, and, and they're locked up tight. Only folks who've been in the theater all day are Brady and Simone, you and Maya, Nicholas Falcone, and myself. But this theater's going to be torn down in three days. Did you tell them that? Standard procedure. Well, what about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. Uh, Simone Mueller. I should have warned you. Hey there, Nancy. Did you call? What do they say? Any signs of Maya? Hey, Nancy, I've been looking for you. Can you believe this ransom demand coming out of thin air? I'm sorry I had to see that wreath, Nancy. It's disgusting. Nancy, take a look at this. Hi, Nancy. What did the police say? You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? Nancy, it's Joseph. Where do you see this? Come to the projection room. That light! Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, 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 <laughs> testing, one, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. Watch out there, Nancy. That projector's crumbling like a prehistoric cookie. You've cracked your last case. We're going down in a blaze of glory. Not so fast, detective. I can't let you do this, Nancy. Yes, smart Nancy True. You're wasting precious time. Stop the demolition or you'll never see her again. It's all over now. Here, 
Try this. Hurry. Here. Try this. Hurry. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Sure thing. I'll put in a find request. Call back in five to seven business days. Next week? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of time. Is there any way to expedite the search? I'm afraid not. The guy who does our misplaced material searches just returned from a month of paternity leave, and he's swamped. I see. This is urgent? Yes, it's urgent, all right. But I'll figure something out. Thanks, Madeline. Good luck. Bye. Hello? Charles said the guy had a hat on. He never really got a look at the guy. Was he young or old? Hey, Charles, young or old? Energetic is all Charles remembers. Hmm, okay, well, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm working on some things over here at the Royal Palladium. Could you do a search for the blueprints? Ma'am, this is so strange. Charles says some guy was just in here looking at them a few days ago. What did he look like? Hold on. Ma'am? Yes, I'm still here. It's very strange, ma'am. They're gone. Gone? You mean someone checked them out? Oh, we don't allow people to check them out. You can bring the blueprints to our reading room and study them there, but they're not supposed to leave the building. I can't imagine where they could be. Hold on, let me see if Charles knows. Records, Madeline speaking. Hi, I'm looking for the blueprints for the Royal Palladium Theater. Do you have them on file? Are you a county employee? No, just a citizen on a mission. Okay, well, we do keep blueprints on file. Let's see. The computer says there are two sets for the Palladium, 1923 and 1956. Do you have a preference? 1923, please. The originals. Would you like to hold while I retrieve them? Sure, thanks. in the lobby. Cross your fingers, there's a story behind this door. Okay, Nancy, here I go. <coughs> Retirement could be fun. There'll be other theaters, Joseph. With your experience, I'm sure you could work anywhere. If you cooperate with me now, I promise to testify for you in court. One, two, two and a half, three. I'm gonna count to three, and then I'm gonna make you disappear. We've still got Time for a grand finale here, Joseph. I'm warning you, I still got a trick or two up my sleeve. Joseph, this is far from over. Now step aside. Joseph, you can go down in a blaze of glory if you want, but Maya and I are not coming with you. Joseph, please let me past. I'll talk to you later. I've got to get a hold of Sergeant Ramsey. I found evidence that will prove that Maya's being held in this building. I think the kidnapper just moved Maya to a new hiding place. Have you seen anything suspicious around here? The PA. Someone's in the projection room. Wait till I tell Nicholas about this. Yikes! Okay, you rotten kidnapper. This must be where the threat came from. Hello? Hello? Another secret passageway. Mmm, mmm, popcorn. Mmm, popcorn. Who can think of popcorn? It's done with mirrors. Think I'll go check out the snacks. Go get them, Scoop. I don't want to terminate him. I don't want to flatten him. Mmm, too gruesome. I think this would be excessive force. Abracadabra, be gone. What? No more prizes. These pieces won't budge. This should loosen things up. Abracadabra. Stick! Abracadabra! Now where's Maya? Another secret passageway. Hmm. Struggling artist. What do you know? I need to send a signal. I've got to let them know we're up here. Oh, this is useless. Hang on, Maya. I'll get you out of there. Even Hercules couldn't pull this off. I need to touch that keypad without getting zapped. Rubber is shockproof. The gate is electrified. I need that knob. Oh, 
this is useless. I need a coin. Hey, it's stuck again. Well, that's tacky. I never thought I'd be this desperate. Your audience will be dazzled. Something's missing here. I can't quite reach. This is a sticky situation. I need a magic grabber. Maybe I could sketch this imprint. There was a key here. I should switch the power off. The bulb croaked. I'll have to tinker with this one. Sometimes the key is to improvise. That might come in handy later. I'm locked in. This one's missing. I'm so close. I just need a few more minutes. Okay, that's enough, detective. That's enough, detective. Prepare to be outwitted. Attention all kidnappers and other villains. We regret to inform you that Nancy Drew is on the scene and she means business. Testing. One, two, three. I must have made the key wrong. A funeral? That was close. Who knew there were so many ways to be crushed in this life? I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. It looks like the gears are missing. County records office? I can't believe this. Ah, oh, ah. This one's useless. This one's useless. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Help. Is anybody out there? I'd love to send one of these to Ned. She was just here. Her shoe. Maya. <gasps> I think the coast is clear. This looks like an exit. This door goes outside. This is no time to leave. I can't quit now. I should check on Maya. <gasps> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I should go see Joseph. I should talk to Joseph. I should check in with Joseph. I should call the police. It sounds like everyone's at the press conference. This is a good time for some detective work. Now, where would the secret passageway be? Maya's notebook. I should check the dressing room for clues. That phone call could be important. Who's there? Maya, if my memory serves, the secret door was right around here. This magician needs some first aid. <sighs> What a face. So they didn't call him J.J. the Beautiful. County Administration, 314-555-3309. Not a good time to cause a commotion, Detective. I don't want anyone to know I'm up here. I don't have time to goof with this right now. I'd better save this until I really need it. So there's a secret room under the stage. <laughs> Come on, Nicholas. I know you're groovy and everything, but that's basic grammar. There's no excuse. He must be in some sort of daze. Oh, this is going nowhere. I need something to make it stick. Nobody's around. <coughs> Hello? What was that? That voice must be coming from the projection room. Ick. There must be an outside line somewhere in this building. She's gone. Knock, knock. That sounds like Maya. <sighs> <coughs> I'm sure this can be repaired. It's not working. It's locked. Dear Bess, 
I still can hardly believe that Joseph, sweet old Joseph, was Maya's kidnapper. He says he planned to kidnap Brady with the idea that Simone could use her Hollywood connections to save the theater. But when Maya entered the dressing room, he panicked and grabbed her instead. Plan B was to stall the demolition long enough for the Historical Society to declare the building an official landmark. I guess he's been at the Royal Palladium for so long, he just couldn't imagine his life without it. But, desperation aside, poor Joseph wasn't cut out for a life of crime, and pretty soon things were spinning out of his control. Simone's publicity stunts didn't help. At least he was courteous and kind to Maya through the whole thing. Her testimony should help him in court. The good news is that the Royal Palladium is still standing. Once he heard that Nicholas would inherit his grandmother Louisa's 50% of the theater, Brady decided he'd better find another site for Planet Tinseltown. In order to make amends for things, and because he needed some good publicity, Brady donated his half of the theater to the St. Louis Historical Society. Together with Haddett, they should have this place restored to its original glory in no time. Not such a happy ending for Simone, I'm afraid. She received an official reprimand from the National Press Corps for her stunt with the wreath. Still, knowing Simone, she'll be back at the top of her game in no time. So, here ends the longest three days of my life. The premiere of Vanishing Destiny is back on. But I think this detective is going to wait for it to come out on videotape. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Dear Bess, I still can hardly believe that Joseph, sweet old Joseph, was Maya's kidnapper. He says he planned to kidnap Brady with the idea that Simone could use her Hollywood connections to save the theater. But when Maya entered the dressing room, he panicked and grabbed her instead. Plan B was to stall the demolition long enough for the Historical Society to declare the building an official landmark. I guess he's been at the Royal Palladium for so long, he just couldn't imagine his life without it. But desperation aside, poor Joseph wasn't cut out for a life of crime, and pretty soon, things were spinning out of his control. <laughs> Simone's publicity stunts didn't help. At least he was courteous and kind to Maya through the whole thing. Her testimony should help him in court. The good news is that the Royal Palladium is still standing. Once he heard that Nicholas would inherit his grandmother Louisa's 50% of the theater, Brady decided he'd better find another site for Planet Tinseltown. In order to make amends for things, and because he needed some good publicity, Brady donated his half of the theater to the St. Louis Historical Society. Together with Haddett, they should have this place restored to its original glory in no time. Oh, not such a happy ending for Simone, I'm afraid. She received an official reprimand from the National Press Corps for her stunt with the wreath. Still, knowing Simone, she'll be back at the top of her game in no time. <sighs> so here ends the longest three days of my life. The premiere of Vanishing Destiny is back on. But I think this detective is going to wait for it to come out on videotape. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has that local activists are planning to stage a big protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they'll let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Oh boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century, and now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. Oh, I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has that local activists are planning to stage a big protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they will let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. 
Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wen from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. Oh, I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has it local activists are planning to stage a big protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they will let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. <laughs> I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets a full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Do you mind if I take a look around in here? How do you keep up with all of your fans, Brady? A big star like you must get hundreds of emails. Don't you want to know what Maya's article was about? I'll talk to you later, Brady. Talk to you later, Brady. I think the kidnapper just moved Maya to a new hiding place. Did you see anything suspicious when you were around the stage? If Simone's management style isn't working for you, why don't you move on? Good question. She never told me what her angle was. Why are you so interested in helping me? You know you love it. Just keep talking. I picked that up from Nicholas. Now please proceed. Just answer the question, Prince Charmstrong. Okay, but where were you? Do you mind if I take a look around in here? How do you keep up with all of your fans, Brady? A big star like you must get hundreds of emails. Who's this Simone, and how do you know her? I don't think I said that, unless I was temporarily enchanted by you. <laughs> but I doubt it. Anyway, she was covering the controversy about this demolition. Well, Brady, you are the center of the universe, but actually, her article was about the theater. Don't you want to know what Maya's article was about? Then why don't you sell the theater to someone else? But what are you going to do with the site? Brady, no! You can't do this! Keep going. You've got a lot more explaining to do. What does this have to do with Maya? So, what's your point? And what is it that you wish to project? There was evidence. I found a pizza box and one of her shoes. Nicholas thinks she's in the building. Joseph believes me. Call off the demolition! You've got to! She has to be in the building. I know she's here. Now's your chance to do the right thing by calling off the demolition. How could you withhold anything that might help me find her? How could you? You can't be serious. Is everything about image with you? Wholesome, my foot. Yeah, so? You kidnapped her because you didn't want her to print this article. Why? You've been lying to me, playing Mr. Helpful and Concerned all this time. I found her notebook in your bag. I don't care about your name. Where's Maya? And for that, she deserves to be kidnapped? You have some nerve. I bet that notebook has your fingerprints all over it. I wonder if the police will agree with that. So why don't you stop the demolition? But you're an actor. Why in the world would you want to bulldoze a theater? Don't worry. I don't trust him any more than I trust you, or anyone else around here for that matter. Thanks, Brady, but I've got everything under control. Sounds like you've bitten off more than you can chew. That's funny. I don't see any gun to your head. Just a wad of money dangling in front of your nose. Oh, really? Is somebody operating you by remote control? I guess I should have my eyes checked. I could have sworn that poster was all about you. You and Simone think of everything. What about a little side business? Missing persons are us. It's catchy, and it might be a real moneymaker. You and Simone think of everything. What about a little side business? Missing persons are us. It's catchy, and it might be a real moneymaker. Balcony, basement, whatever. It's just my friend's life that's in danger here. Great job on the posters, too. You market yourself like a real pro. The caretaker was looking for you. See if you can help him. She may still be in the building. We've got to search this place from top to bottom. Listen, Maya's in trouble and I've got to act fast. Please, I don't have time for small talk. What radicals. I'm Nancy Drew, starring in a real-life emergency here. 
I need to find my friend Maya Wynn. Yeah, yeah. I came with my friend Maya to see the premiere tonight. I'm Nancy. Maya was just here a minute ago. Did you see her? I think they escaped through a secret passageway. I'm going to have to search this room. I think I'd better discuss that with the police. It's something to do with the demolition of the theater. The voice said, if they knock the theater down, the girl goes with it. I don't have time to explain. The kidnapper may still be in the building. I need to search this room. Do you mind? I heard Maya scream. When I got here, she was gone, vanished. And then I got a creepy phone call from the kidnapper. So you didn't hear a girl screaming a few minutes ago? I wonder if she knows anything about what happened to Maya. What a ripoff. If your devoted fans only knew. Simone, is that your agent? I think she's been kidnapped. Weren't you expecting her? I thought she emailed you to set up an interview for her article. The jig is up, Brady. Start talking. Don't hey you me, Brady, you rotten fraud. Who are you, my overprotective big brother? I'm not hanging out with him, Brady. I'm conducting a search here, and I'll take any tip I can get. You've already been a big help. Is there anything you can tell me about Maya's press pass? Thanks for finding Maya's press pass. Where was it? I'm not here for an autograph. My friend's been kidnapped. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Don't you worry, Joseph. I've got my priorities straight. Thanks for the tip, Joseph. Sounds like you're pretty proud of this. Oh, yeah? Why? Still searching. Hi, Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Wow, that is generous. Respect. Really? Well, I know about his awesome talent, but what about his character? What did he believe in? Hi, Joseph. I'm wondering, can you fill me in on Harry Houdini at all? Thanks, Joseph. Back to business. Do you mean the passage was used for a romantic rendezvous? What was the original purpose of the secret passageway between the dressing rooms? Hey, Joseph, quick question. Gotta go now. Yeah, hello. Hi, Joseph. Nancy, what's up? Still searching. You know, you ought to take a quick break and, and play one of those old arcade games in this place. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, for one thing, they're a real kick. They don't make them like this anymore. And for another thing... I'm the crazy tinkerer who pulled the dinosaurs out of storage and, and got them working again. Sounds like you're pretty proud of this. I sure am. The only one that's still giving me trouble is that blasted amazing Monty down in the basement. He's such a moody old guy. Never know when he's going to cough up a card trick. Thanks for the tip, Joseph. No sweat. But then you get back to work, you hear? Maya needs you. Don't you worry, Joseph. I've got my priorities straight. Joseph Hughes here. Hi, Joseph. I'm wondering, can you fill me in on Harry Houdini at all? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Well, I know about his awesome talent, but what about his character? What did he believe in? Gosh, that's a big question. And of course, I, I never met the man. As far as I know, everyone loved him. Really? Well, he was awfully generous. Loved to help his fellow magicians. Lent them his name, his money, just about anything to help get their careers off the ground. He wanted magicians to have the respect they deserve. Respect. Sure. For example, all through his life, he gave money to help repair the graves of famous magicians around the world. Guess if he couldn't help them in life, he wanted to make sure they had a proper resting place. Wow, that is generous. Well, check out the plaque in the hallway, if you haven't already. Thanks, Joseph. Don't mention it. Yeah, hello. Hey, Joseph. Quick question. Fire away. What was the original purpose of the secret passageway between the dressing rooms? W well, Nancy, you know, uh... Sometimes, before a performance, or, or after, or, or during, I, I reckon a lady performer and, uh, uh, well, a gentleman performer might need to, um, exchange words and, uh, uh what, what not. Th they might need to, to meet, you know, in, in secret. What, what I'm trying to say is, uh, the passage was, uh, was improvised. Yeah, that's it, improvised. Out of, uh, uh, necessity. Do you mean the passage was used for a romantic rendezvous? Oh. I'm glad we're on the same page here, Nancy. Oh, look at the time. Thanks, Joseph. Back to business. Carry on. I was backstage earlier, and one of the stage lights came crashing down. It almost hit me. I found the door, but the pieces that open the door are stuck. I found a secret room under the stage. I've got to check it out. It's Nancy. But where's the secret pass? Thanks, Mr. Hughes. I... Yes, she was supposed to interview Brady Armstrong. The kidnapper just called. But there's only one door to this room. It's like they made her disappear. I just received a threatening call saying if I don't stop the theater demolition, I'll never see her again. I'm Nancy. My friend Maya's gone, and I just received a threatening phone call from the kidnapper. My name is Nancy Drew. Maya Wynn is my friend, and she's gone. 
I was out in the hall when I heard her scream. I don't know how they could have taken her. Brady's not here. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Something's gone terribly wrong. My friend has disappeared from Brady's dressing room. I heard her scream. I think she's been kidnapped. You're crazy. Maya's got nothing to do with this demolition. You're messing with the wrong girls, whoever you are. She's a reporter and I'm a detective. And we don't scare easy. You'll never get away with this. Do you hear me? Hello? Hello? What? Who is this? Hello? Gotta go now. Make sure they check that magician's secret room. Thanks, Joseph. I am exhausted. I haven't called yet. Yeah, they said they'll come check it out, but they may not be able to get here for a while. Right, and they must have been in a hurry because they left a mess behind, including one of Maya's shoes. I found a couple of pizza boxes down there, so at least I know she's not starving. Something tells me she had some assistance. Well, she didn't just get up and walk away. Her legs were tied. I think the kidnapper moved her but they left some evidence behind. I'm sure. She was there, and now she's gone. Don't tell me you think I'm crazy, too. Would you believe she's disappeared again? By the time I got through that door, the room was empty. The kidnapper's been holding Maya in that magician's room under the stage. I found Maya! It's only a matter of hours until the demolition. How are you holding up, Joseph? Sorry, Joseph, but if you're not going to Greasewood, I have to think maybe you're feeling a little desperate these days. Desperate enough to kidnap someone? You tell me. Everyone's a suspect, Joseph. You know that. If you have nowhere to go after the theater comes down, then maybe you're the kidnapper desperado. It's not so far-fetched, is it? Joseph, I did some checking. You don't really have any family in Greasewood, do you? I got another threat from the kidnapper. That creepy voice came on the PA and told me to stop searching for Maya. I was backstage earlier, and one of the stage lights came crashing down. It almost hit me. The police told me Nicholas Falcone is known for using extreme tactics to further his political causes. Why are you letting him use the lobby as his headquarters? The history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Tell me about that old key-making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order long? So where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? I have a feeling you and I are betting on the same horse here. Are you thinking of a certain Hollywood agent we know? Someone knew how to get their attention. But who? Where did those missing posters come from? It's just strange. I mean, why would the kidnapper go to the trouble to have that thing arranged and delivered here? <laughs> like I'm not scared enough? Like I don't know time is running out? If you cooperate, it'll look better for you in court. Maybe the jury will understand that you just got carried away. If you cooperate, it'll look better for you in court. Maybe the jury will understand that you just got carried away. They're gonna knock it down anyway. Please, we don't have much time. The police think the building is empty. You've got to help me or we'll all be smashed to bits. Snap out of it. Just tell me where Maya is. Face it, Joseph. You're in over your head. You just weren't cut out to be a kidnapper. Look, it's too late to save the theater now. I know you don't want to hurt Maya or you wouldn't have kept encouraging me to find her. I know it's you, Joseph. But why? Were you trying to buy some time so the Historical Society could declare the theater a landmark or something? I'd say death by wrecking ball and or felony kidnapping charges rank higher on your list of problems than office clutter at the moment, Joseph. But Joseph, there isn't going to be any tomorrow. Not for this theater, anyway. Even without the evidence, that corner of the room had obviously been lived in recently. This is so discouraging. So the police still think I'm making this up? Is that what you're telling me? Somebody must have moved the evidence. That's the only explanation. How could they miss two big pizza boxes with leftover pizza inside? What about Maya's shoe? What do you mean they couldn't find anything? That's impossible. Are you sure they looked in the magician's room? That's crazy. She was tied up in the magician's room yesterday. I saw her. And the kidnapper must have been here too because Maya didn't move herself. But what about the evidence I found? Okay, okay, I surrender. Well, I guess you have a point there. Gosh, I am exhausted. Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. Found it? Where? This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? What was the 56 remodel all about? When was the theater built? You've been a big help already. Thanks, Joseph. Operation Bust a Kidnapper is about to begin. 
Where can I get an insider's guide to all of the secret passages in this place? Time to start searching. Can you give me a map or some blueprints of this place? Good memory. She's been working on a story about the demolition. I wonder if that's why they took her. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Joseph. I thought you were the kidnapper calling back. Doesn't this theater life of yours count as a showbiz thing? Well said. Now, I need a map of the theater. Is there a floor plan or a set of blueprints I could look at? Well, anyway, I agree. She's got to be somewhere in the building, and I plan to find evidence to prove it. Helpful suspects. What more could I ask for? Right, I agree. That's why I'm going to turn this theater inside out until I find her. Did I mention what the kidnapper said? Have you had bad dealings with her? Well, I've dealt with some pretty tough customers, Joseph. I just hope someone has warned her about me. <laughs> Maybe it's something in the water. Is she really all that tough? How did you know I was a detective? Simone Mueller is the only person I haven't been able to talk to yet. Sound testing. Yeah, I think I remember hearing you practicing your MC voice now that you mention it. Did you notice anything suspicious? Are you counting yourself as a suspect? You're suggesting it must be one of these people? How can you be sure? I have to find some evidence to convince the police that this is a real emergency. They say it's unlikely that the kidnapper would keep her in the building. They seem to think it might be a prank. I mean, I understand the police can't go chasing after every kid who gets lost at the mall. But this is different. In the lobby? Great. I'll be back later. That's a good idea. According to their policy, Maya's not officially missing yet. If I want their help before tomorrow, I have to come up with some evidence of foul play. I already spoke to them. According to their policy, Maya's not officially missing yet. If I want their help before tomorrow, I have to come up with some evidence of foul play. Standard procedure says I'm on my own for the next 24 hours. Thanks, but I already tried that. Standard procedure says I'm on my own for the next 24 hours. How did you avoid the police? Joseph, I thought you left the theater. Oh, what for? Do you think it's real? Did they get any information on the call? This is one creepy kidnapper. That's for sure. I'm afraid Maya's in real danger. Oh my gosh, Maya's press pass. Where did you find it? I guess the kidnapper must have escaped through that passageway. But all it led me to is a cranky Hollywood agent. Not a trace, and the dressing room is in ship shape. If I hadn't heard her scream, I'd think she had just disappeared in a puff of smoke. I found the secret passageway all right, but no sign of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. Catch you later. Catch you later. Thanks. 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 Catch you later. It seems like this cause has become your personal mission. Joseph told me that the St. Louis Historical Society is in the process of trying to declare this building an historical landmark. Do you know what they plan to build on this spot after the theater is gone? Can you believe Brady's agent has called this press conference to trump up his heroics? She can barely even remember Maya's name. Have you seen Joseph? I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about it. Tell me about your relationship with the police. But the police are going to start clearing the building and... Nicholas, I don't think you... Note to self. Trust Nicholas Falcone no further than you could throw him. Ever hear of the wrath of Nancy Drew? It's not a pretty sight, Nicholas. Not pretty at all. There's nothing I hate more than a bold-faced liar, Nicholas. Remember that. Maybe you'd better think about being in on the law and down with the truth, Nicholas. I don't care if you've been convicted or not. Who are you? So you have or have not used kidnapping to further your causes in the past. We're expecting a package. Cross your fingers, it gets here in time. Sherman Trout is on our side. Keep your eyes peeled for a special delivery. I haven't called yet. She didn't know much, but she gave me the number of this guy at the Library of Congress who has access to the archives of Houdini's letters. It seems like you have a personal connection to this theater. Someone in Houdini's family may be able to call this demolition off, which means they don't have the authority to knock this building down. Enlighten me. I'm working on a couple of theories. Maybe Houdini wanted to teach JJ a lesson for promising things he couldn't deliver. In any case, Harry Houdini was 50% owner of this place. From what I can tell, J.J. had to give Harry Houdini 50% of the theater as the reward. Let's just say that J.J. Thompson found himself in a tight spot. J.J. put up a big reward for this Houdini challenge. He must have thought the escape was impossible. But Houdini did it. 
and J.J. didn't have the reward money. It seems your grandmother isn't the only one J.J. Thompson tried to bamboozle. Did you ever hear about a challenge that J.J. Thompson issued to Harry Houdini back in 1925? And you're smarter than I thought. I try to play it down. Maya's my first priority, as you can imagine. But if there's any way I can help set the record straight on this beautiful artwork, I will. If I run across the name Louisa Falcone or anything else that might help, you'll be the first to know. Maybe there's something buried in the theater. I think I know what you're going to ask. She should at least get credit for her work. Can't you get some justice now? Was she bitter about it? What did she do instead? I wonder why Thompson would cheat her like that. She must have been so frustrated. Didn't she fight it? Why didn't he give her the credit? Wow, I can see why you would hate to let it be destroyed. After all, this artwork is her legacy. The detail is so intricate. You just don't see this kind of artistry in new theaters nowadays. Oh, the information. <laughs> Come on, Nicholas. Being groovy is no excuse for abandoning basic grammar. Sorry, but in my experience, people take you more seriously if you speak properly. Whoops. Sometimes I just can't control myself. How would you know? Right. I need to start searching for evidence, but I'll be back with more questions for you, Nicholas. I'm not about to take that chance. A statement? They said they'll let Maya go down with the building if it gets demolished. I haven't asked her myself, but something tells me that's a statement she'd rather not make. Oh, so this is just a pretend kidnapping. I never would have guessed. Maya's scream sounded so real. You must be joking if you think any building is worth more than a human life. And it's a lousy joke, by the way. Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. Don't you mean, what are the demands? Suddenly, Maya's fate is tied to this theater. They said that if it gets demolished, she'll go with it. The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. Does this have something to do with had it? What kind of problem? And why is that? And who might you be? This is serious. I think she's been kidnapped. She's a reporter doing a story on the theater demolition. She was trying to interview Brady Armstrong. She went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room and disappeared. Situation? Well, that's a delicate word for a kidnapping. My friend's been kidnapped. I've got to start searching this place. My friend's been kidnapped. I've got to alert the police and then start searching this place. You have problems with the police? Well, you're a breath of optimism. What's this had it all about? Uh, I'm Nancy, but I think I missed something. Generica? I'm Nancy Drew. I was just on the phone with the police. I'm Nancy Drew. I think I need to call the police. <laughs> Who are you? His surly understudy? I came to see the premiere, if that's what you're asking. That doesn't make me a worshiper. Joseph said the projector is falling apart, and I'll talk to Joseph and see if he knows what the... Sure did. Not yet. Maybe she knows what's happened to Houdini's half of the theater. I'll call. But it couldn't hurt to give her a call. I'll get right on that. Thanks to you, the police think this whole kidnapping is a hoax. You didn't tell me kidnapping was part of Activism 101. I haven't found anything that mentions your grandmother, but I did find something very interesting about the ownership of the theater. I found some of JJ's personal documents inside a secret panel in the basement. What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. I want to hear about Had It. The 411? Have you seen my friend Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, look. Look at the time. I gotta go. I think your phone's about to ring. Brady seems uncomfortable with some of your, uh, tactics. Brady seems uncomfortable with some of your, uh... Tactics. Have you heard about this ransom demand? Joseph says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? I guess it was only a rumor. Oh, uh, I must have been confused. What do you think about Brady's new project? How long have you been Brady's agent? Sure, Simone, whatever. Someone should sentence you to 50 years of humanity service, whether you're the kidnapper or not. A little overboard. <laughs> You're dreaming if you think that's enough to get you off my suspect list. Go ahead, call the police. And while you're at it, why don't you mention that you're the kidnapper? It's just business, Simone. You do what agents do, I do what detectives do. I'm sure you can appreciate that. I know you sent that funeral wreath. The jig is up, Simone. Stop playing games with me, Simone. Where's Maya? Come on, Simone. Ginger's 24-hour flower-rama? I believe you've been caught red-handed. I'm not stressed out. I'm livid. 
I went through your stuff and I know what you did. What do you know about that wreath? You saw the wreath? Where is it now? What's he doing that for? Press conference? I need to talk to Brady. Where is he now? You know I was searching for evidence to show the police. You know every hour counts. But when Brady found the pass, you used it to promote your star before you turned it over? What if she wasn't photogenic? Would you be less interested in helping her? That poster is just an advertisement for Brady. My friend's in trouble. This is not a career opportunity. I'd rather be crushed by an elevator. Sounds like an invitation to the swamp of no return. Thanks, but no thanks. I propose you back off. Earth to Simone! This is not a movie! This theater is going to be demolished in three days! Brady can help search if he wants, but I'm not going to sit back and wait for him to save the day! I can't believe you! No girl wants to be kidnapped! Ever! River Heights! Why? I'm worried sick about my friend here and all you can think of is another media event. I don't think we should get the press into this before the police have had a chance to investigate. You don't understand. I think my friend is in trouble. But this is an emergency. I saw those pictures you took of Brady posing with Maya's press pass all over the theater. What do you think you're doing? I know you sent the funeral wreath. Now where's Maya? You made the posters? When? That picture of Maya is the one from her press pass, isn't it? The premiere has been canceled? So you heard about Maya? This is an emergency. I'm looking for a 19-year-old girl with black hair. My friend's been kidnapped. Good luck. You never know what you'll turn up in the game, so be sure to explore. Don't forget to trust your instincts and have fun. So that's it. You're ready to tackle the case. I'll return you to the player challenge screen where you can start the game. Junior detective is not quite as tough as the senior level, so you might want to start there. And if you get stuck or feel like talking to someone you know you can trust, you can always call Bess and George or Ned. If you make a major mistake, say you fall off a roof or blow something up, you can select second chance from the main menu to get back to where you were before you goofed. You can also advance time by resetting the alarm clock by the bed if you're impatient for night to fall or the sun to rise. At the bottom left is a little pocket watch where you can check the time in the game. Okay, we're almost done. If there are a lot of words in the text box, you know how some people can talk. Those bars to the right move up and down so that you can read along. Never mind that. What I'd like to know is, will the revolution be televised or not? Never mind that. What I'd like to know is, why are you hiding behind that plant? Never mind that. What I'd like to know is, why are you following me? I'm hoping for a career change. My dream is to get into the hotel business. I've come to Wisconsin to tour the cheese factories. Hello there. What brings you to Whitford Castle? Give it a try. Select a question or a reply by clicking on it and listen to what your suspect says next. In the game, you can talk to the people you meet. The conversation will appear in the text box next to the toolbox. The words of the person you're talking to will be in blue, and my replies will be in white. Is that everything? Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important detective skills. You know, questioning suspects. Good work. You're a natural. Want to try? Pick up the key. To use one of these objects, just move your mouse over it in the toolbox on the right and click on it. See how your cursor turns into that item? Then you can click on the area where you want to use it. Pretty neat, huh? To use one of these objects, just move your mouse over it in the toolbox on the right and click on it. See how your cursor turns into that item? Then you can click on the area where you want to use it. I'll give you a key to my suitcase so you can see what these objects look like. All right. When you find something useful in the game, you can pick it up and carry it around with you. Take a few steps over to the desk. There, you will find my room card key. Turn around and take a few steps over to my suitcase. When you want to go back to where you came from or turn around, find where your cursor turns into a U-turn at the bottom of the screen and click. The magnifying glass is quite a handy tool. When it turns red, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. See what I mean? Move your mouse until the magnifying glass turns red, and then click to zoom in. I always carry my magnifying glass with me to scan for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm onto something. Hmm. 
sassy detective. Now, find the forward arrow and take a step over to that round table to see what's there. A forward arrow allows you to advance in the direction you want to go. Likewise, a back arrow allows you to take a step back. Sometimes up and down arrows will be available too. A forward arrow allows you to advance in the direction you want to go. Likewise, a back arrow allows you to take a step back. Sometimes up and down arrows will be available too. A forward arrow allows you to... <laughs> Darn that racket! I'm going to have to see about getting that radiator fixed. Now, where was I? Oh yes, but be careful. If you spin too fast, you might get dizzy or miss an important clue. Now, find the forward arrow and take a step over to that round table to see what's there. But be careful. If you spin too fast, you might get dizzy or miss an important clue. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen. An arrow will appear that allows you to turn in that direction when you click on it. First things first. <laughs> Darn that racket! I'm going to have to see about getting that radiator fixed. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen. An arrow will appear that allows you to turn in that direction when you click on it. First things first. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen. An arrow will appear that allows you to turn in that direction when you click on it. Give it a try! Okay, in this game, your mission is to solve the mystery. Step into my shoes. You'll be my eyes and ears and choose what I do. Get ready, because there's a lot to do. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. Be careful, I'm rooting for you. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Go get him, Nancy. Call me soon. Keep me posted. Didn't you hear the police coming? Yeah, but I didn't know what to do. I guess I just froze. There must have been somewhere to hide in that projection room. Hey, don't rub it in. I feel bad enough as it is. If the key you made doesn't work, put it back in the machine and try again. Simone must have a few secrets tucked away in her electronic organizer. I bet she's got the code written down somewhere. Joseph must have spare projector bulbs stashed somewhere in that projection room. As long as all your suspects are wrapped up with that press conference, maybe you should take the opportunity to see what they're hiding in their rooms. See if you can use that pencil magic trick you read about to reveal the shape of the key from that envelope in the projector manual. Has the press conference started? You might want to see if you can get an idea of what kind of fairy tale Simone is spinning out there. Maybe you should see what Brady has to say about finding that press pass. The key maker is fixed, so you can make a new key for the projector. Who's the helpful elf behind those missing posters? Maybe you should start asking some questions. This is the 11th hour, Nancy. You're going to be on your own, racing against the clock. Do whatever you have to do to get this case solved. If you succeed, they'll put your name up in lights on the Royal Palladium Marquee. See what old Nicholas has to say about Sergeant Ramsey's comments. Aren't you going to check out that package? See what's going on with Nicholas. Did you check out the funeral wreath? Was there a note attached or anything? See what's going on with Brady. Don't you think you should tell the police about Maya's press pass? Have you confronted Simone about that funeral receipt yet? Aren't you curious what it is that Joseph wants to show you? Maybe you should call the police and get the information straight to a horse's mouth, so to speak. See what Nicholas has to say about your discoveries. Talk to Joseph and see how the police investigation went last night. You've done the legwork, Nancy. Now all you need to do is put the pieces in place and turn the crank. After all this, I sure hope that box contains some key information. And remember, if it fits in your pocket, take it with you. What did that article say about the ransom demand? When you play the bee's knees, you can't let the double notes catch you, Nancy. It's just like the video games you're always playing. The technology is different today, but the thrill of the chase is timeless. Maybe you should check in with Joseph. The coins that belong to that box must be from JJ's heyday, right? The 1920s? When the dance halls were jumping with the new sound of jazz? If you can find a relic from that era and dance the dance, the prize is as good as yours. I'm sure the police will want to know about your discoveries today. Give them a call. Now that you've got that wand, you'll need to customize it for the job at hand. 
How about attaching a magnet to the end? Or something else to make the coin stick? Check out that old Beat the Magician game down in the basement. You'll need a magic grabber to reach one of those coins. I wonder if the magicians of yesteryear left any of their tools behind in the men's dressing room. Now that you've got those cages lowered, don't you want to see where those trapdoors lead? Be careful and investigate thoroughly. You need to find the coins or gears or whatever they are to operate that box, right? Have you searched high and low? Have you gone out on a limb? Are you keeping your eyes on the prize, so to speak? Eustacia gave you the number for the Library of Congress, didn't she? See what they have to say. To get into that cool old box, you probably have to rearrange that picture of the fortune teller. Don't you want to see what Houdini's cousin's widow has to say? Give her a call. You've got to get into that secret panel in the basement. You'll need a flush. You know, five of the same suit? Once you do that, you'll have it made in the spade. I mean, shade. Check with Nicholas to see if he's come up with any leads on Houdini's relatives. Once you've raised the rope enough to lower that hook, you can attach the hook to the crate. This is where the brains leave off and the brawn comes in. Hoist the crate high so it's out of the way and tie it off tight. I hope your venture into the basement is fruitful. Make sure you press the lock button once you've got the cages where you want them, or you'll have to start from scratch. That big crate backstage is blocking the door to the basement. You'll have to figure out how to hoist it out of the way. Be careful, though. I'll bet it's heavy enough to flatten you. After you lower the cages, engage the magnet. Then, when you raise the cages again, the magnets will pull up the trap doors. So the blueprints are unavailable. Well, who needs blueprints anyway? If you study up on J.J. Thompson and the history of the theater, you'll probably begin to get some insight into how the place was built. Check out the old posters and plaques in the hallways. Aren't you going to call about those blueprints? Wasn't the switchboard code scribbled somewhere in the stage technician's guide? Blueprints would definitely help your search. Nicholas must know the county administrator's offices inside and out. Maybe you can get the phone number from him. See if you can get down beneath the stage. That stage technician's guide must have outlined the steps. Who knows if you'll have another chance like this to check out the projection room. Seems like Nicholas has the most motivation to get the demolition stopped. You'd better find out all you can about his politics and his methods. I bet the key to that drawer is long gone. See if you can put that bobby pin to good use. Start questioning your suspects. See if they've got credible alibis. See what's in that locked drawer in the men's dressing room. Call the police, Nancy. You've got to make them aware of the situation. I'd like to help Nancy, but I think you'd better ask Bess and George. My detective skills have been a little rusty lately. Not again, Nancy. Yeah, who knew there were so many ways to get crushed in this life? I'm glad you're okay. Do you think it was an accident? I don't know. There was no one around the stage, so I guess we could chalk it up to the crumbling theater. But why did it suddenly fall when I was right there? You've got me there, detective. That means you're almost out of time. I know. Nicholas offered to cover for me while I check out the slide from the Library of Congress. That's great. But, Ned, I'll probably have to hide from the police. Isn't that wrong? Look, Nancy, you're no scofflaw. Since the beginning, the police have been unwilling or unable to believe that Maya is in that building. You owe it to yourself, and especially to Maya, to rely on your own detective instincts and solve this case your way. Anyone in your position would do the same. What makes you say that? Oh, it just sounds like he was so generous and passionate about his craft. Everyone loved him. Any theories yet on what he did with his half of the theater? No, but I highly doubt he was generous enough to give his half back to old J.J. Thompson. That wouldn't have been an act of generosity anyway. It would have been a lapse in judgment. And maybe after you solve the case, detective. Well, besides the fact that I don't have time for distractions, the machine is out of order. Phew, that's a relief. What's that supposed to mean? Nancy Drew, you know the key to your heart would be much too big to carry around on my keychain. I'd probably throw my back out. <laughs> Good point, Mr. Nickerson. Anyway, it's the thought that counts. Well, the police aren't being much help. But couldn't you try contacting the owner of the building? I'm sure he or she would be willing to postpone for a couple of days. I mean, what's the rush? According to Nicholas, his name is B. Thompson, and he won't talk to the press. Hmm, I wonder what he has to hide. His building firm is called Wave of the Future. Catchy. I wonder what he has against the present. Ned, I just remembered something. Joseph used the phrase Wave of the Future when I first met him. He was talking about the remodel of the theater in 1956. Do you think it's a coincidence? I don't know, Nance. If Joseph turns out to be the owner of the theater and the guy behind the demolition, I think it'll be fair to say you've seen everything. That's a tough one, Nancy. In Simone's world, where everything is a photo shoot, her excuse sounds just twisted enough to be true. But on the other hand... You know me too well, Nancy Drew. 
On the other hand, Simone's mind is just too devious and much too selfish to be believed. Your skepticism is probably right on, Nancy. You think? Sure, after all, Brady did spread those missing posters over half of Missouri. There are always a few jokers who try to jump on the bandwagon in situations like these. It just makes me sick to think that anyone would try to profit from such a terrible situation. It's a mixed-up world, Nancy. The Amazing Monty? It's an old arcade game down in the basement. Pick the right card and win a prize. Yeah? So what'd you win? A flash paper kit. Flash paper? Cool. Have you ever used it? No, but I've seen them use it on stage. The flash can really knock your socks off. You should hold on to that stuff, just in case you need to make a grand exit. Oh, yeah? Apparently, there's elaborate architecture under the stage. Like what? Compartments, tunnels, a magician's room of some kind, not to mention trap doors. Nancy, what are you waiting for? Well, it appears that in order to access these areas, I would need to operate a switchboard up in the projection room. Where's Joseph? I think he's still out dealing with a press conference. Nancy, you've got to jump on this opportunity. Who knows what you'll find? Nancy Drew, you eavesdropped? Look, Ned, it's not something I make a habit of, but desperate times require desperate measures. So what makes you think he's cracking up? Well, they were arguing and Simone hung up. And then Brady stayed on the line talking to himself and acting out this conversation between himself and Simone. What kind of conversation? Simone, but really it was Brady playing the part of Simone, was ordering Brady to put on a chicken suit. And Brady was refusing, and then Brady pushed Simone overboard. Overboard? Yeah, off of his make-believe ship. I see. Sounds like Brady is tired of being made to do things he doesn't want to do. I guess Simone did something to push him too far, and that would prevent the demolition? Right. So what's the holdup? Joseph thinks someone downtown is stalling. Hmm, maybe someone who wants the demolition has been greasing some palms. Probably. It's a shame because Joseph seems to think they're close. I wonder if this kidnapper is just trying to buy a little more time. What does Mr. Falcone have to say about the historical society? He was pretty cynical. Said the whole process was a bunch of hocus pocus. Hmm, perhaps Mr. Falcone is using cynicism to disguise his true feelings. Hmm, sounds like bad news travels fast around old theaters. That's just the thing. Simone didn't seem to think Maya's kidnapping was bad news at all. She kept calling it a great opportunity. She kept saying what fabulous publicity it's going to be for Brady. Sounds like she knows how to turn a profit in any situation. The question is, is she just responding to the situation? Or did she have a hand in creating it in the first place? No flies on you, Nancy Drew. Sounds to me like your detective mind is in high gear. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, detective. Any leads? Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy. Any sparks of genius lately? You don't even know. I almost got electrocuted by a booby trap gate. And this was no accident. Sounds like you've had a rough day. What happened? <sighs> it's a long story. Basically, I found a secret room under the stage where the kidnapper has been keeping Maya. That's great. I thought so, too, until she disappeared again. Say what? I was minutes away from rescuing her, but the kidnapper grabbed her and moved her. The booby-trapped gate must have been aimed at slowing me down. Well, I'm glad you're okay. What now? I'm working on that. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, detective. Any new developments? Hello? Hi, Ned. It's me. Hey, Nancy. How's the case coming along? Nickers and pizza pies, what can I get ya? <laughs> well, hello there. I'd like a large pizza with a works. Even anchovies, ma'am? I know you have issues with anchovies. Extra anchovies. Wow, Nancy. Things must be getting hairier if you're contemplating anchovies. What's up? Hello? Hi again. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest? Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. And Nancy, if this is you, I'll be back in a flash. Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. Hello? Ned, it's me. Nancy, Bess called and told me what happened with Maya. I've been worried sick. Did she tell you what the police said? About the 24-hour delay? Yeah, she told me. But I have faith in you, Nancy. You've solved plenty of cases before without help from the police. So let's get down to business. Who are your suspects? It seems there were only four people in the building at the time of the kidnapping, besides Maya and myself. Brady Armstrong, Simone Mueller, his agent, Nicholas Falcone, a political activist, 
and the caretaker, Joseph Hughes. Any hunches? Not yet. I've got a lot of work to do. Call me anytime. I'll try to stay close to the phone. Keep it real, sister. On the flip side, fight the power. If you need a phone, there's an outside line in the ticket booth. They've been in that process for years. It's all just a big wad of red tape, a bunch of bureaucratic hocus-pocus. Had it's about action, not paperwork. Oh, it's very hush-hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future, and the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson, but he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. Don't worry, Nancy. This cowboy will be on the scene with a megaphone in each holster. I guarantee you the press will get more than they bargained for. He's around here somewhere, polishing things. I was outside, harnessing public outrage. Ask anyone. All I know is they like to dig through my garbage and follow my van. Does this face say America's most wanted to you? So what's the demands? I'll cover for you when the police come in. This is it, Nancy. Go! We can't wait for Joseph. He's probably roaming around saying goodbye to each and every doorknob. I heard they're about to start clearing out the building. You've got to hurry. Nancy, you've got to find out what's on that slide. Let's just say I know a little bit about impassioned people and their extreme measures. All right, Officer Nancy, chill out, will ya? I'm on your side. I am not an eco-terrorist, and I would never orchestrate the temporary disappearance of anyone who wasn't in on the plan and down with the cause. That's all hearsay, Nancy. They got no witnesses, no testimony, no nothing. A package just came from that museum. We may have the goods to stop this demolition dead in its tracks. Check the ticket booth. Way to go, Nancy! You're on fire! Exactly. And what did they say? Go on, spill it! This theater's a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? Come on, sister, get the lead out. So what are you waiting for? The wrecking crew to bust in and dial the number for you? We've got to find out what happened to his half of the ownership. You keep looking for Maya. I've got a laptop up my van. I'll get online and do some research. Check back soon. If Thompson didn't own the whole place, then whoever inherited it from Thompson doesn't legally own the whole place either. Ha! Serves that swindler J.J. Wright. Nancy, do you realize what this means? What does this have to do with the ownership of the theater? Yeah, and? Well, don't just stand there. Start breaking it down. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? My family has been trying for years, but there doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Nancy, could you do me a favor? Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life, but this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. Louisa, Mother Serenity, Falcone. Here's the kicker. After J.J. sharked her on this two-year project, she was broke. And then the Great Depression hit. She could never afford to work as an artist again. Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with J.J. And she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that. So I guess she just had to let it go. True, true. But there's more. I guess the architect owner guy, J.J. Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. He never paid my grandma dime one. And then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Politics is personal. But with this place, it's ultra personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby. And in the auditorium. Come on, Nancy. That's vintage slang. You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. Who are you, my freshman English teacher? She'll be okay trust me. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Whew. Kidnapping. <laughs> That's a high profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? It's more like they have a problem with me. Forget Charmstrong. If she wants the real story, she better talk to me. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? And the crisis is... Haven't you heard? The battle is on. There's a human chain forming out front as we speak. But all that can wait. It's obvious you got a situation. So what's up? What are you calling them for? A little taste of your tax dollars going bad? Who are you? And what's with the doom and gloom? I'm Nicholas Falcone, solemnly sworn to lead the forces of Haddit and slay the dragon of corporate generica. Hollywood? The fantastic plastic vacuum? I wouldn't go there in a pig's suitcase. You are what you consume. And that movie's nothing but processed cheese. Every ticket sold is a vote for corporate cannibalism. And nobody cares now, but one day, 
Abracadabra, we're gonna wake up in the United States of Generica. Aren't you here to worship at the screen of Brady Charmstrong? Nancy, you've got to find out what's on that slide. Not now, sister. I'm in the zone. Nancy! Don't blow this. Nancy, we could be golden. Did you call? What's the story? I got the number. I left it in the ticket booth. This woman isn't a Houdini herself. She's the widow of one of Houdini's cousins. Hola. How goes the search? What's up? Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. Nancy, what's the 411? No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Uh, yes, is it true that, uh, that Detective Nancy Drew is on the case? Yes, Nancy Drew is investigating. Is she available for comment? Ah, uh, it's a difficult situation. You see, Maya is a friend of Nancy's. And the personal connection, well, it may be clouding the detective's judgment. She's really on edge. Isn't anybody around here concerned about the welfare of this magnificent theater? There's more than one life at stake today, you know. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, press people, over here. If you want the real story, talk to me. Sorry, Miss Mueller. You'll have your photo op in a moment. Yeah, over here. Down by my van. Do you think the kidnapper is violent? Mr. Charmstrong, have you ever thought about growing a mustache? It might really distinguish you. Is it true you're offering a reward for the facts leading to Maya's return? That's right. Autographed movie posters for anyone and everyone who comes forward with a decent lead. Where did this funeral wreath come from? Isn't it a little unusual for a uh, movie star to help with a kidnapping like this? People, one at a time. Brady. Well, with all of my experience on the silver screen, I feel well prepared to save the day in St. Louis. You see, Brady Armstrong is a hero and a regular guy. All rolled into one. Ooh, I'm swooning. Put a sock in it, Mr. Camouflage. And now, without further ado, I'd like to open the floor up to questions. Uh, is it true that the girl was at the theater to interview uh, Brady Armstrong? What was the interview about? Mr. Charmstrong, do you find your fans respond to you more in your chicken suit or in your curly wig? Did uh, anyone hear her scream? Uh, Ms. Mueller, you're his agent. Uh, chicken suit or curly wig? Any speculation on where the kidnapper's hiding her? I've called this conference specifically to let you know, and I trust you will take it upon yourselves to inform the world, that Brady Armstrong will not rest. The greatest performance of his career will not be unveiled until Maya Nguyen... Hey, lady, you're breaking my heart. But isn't her name Maya Wynn? <clears throat> until Maya Wynn is returned to her friends and family, safe and sound. Already, our real-life hero has searched this theater and uncovered important evidence. Already, he has driven 200 miles in a rent-a-car, no less distributing missing posters to all the outer lying regions of this great city. Uh, oh, okay, folks, we're about to get started here. Uh, Mrs. Mueller and Mr. Armstrong will do their best to answer all of your questions in the time allotted. Uh, but let's proceed with, with good manner, shall we? <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. I'm only sorry that the circumstances of our meeting are not more festive. Wouldn't it be nice? If we were all gathered here today to revel in the blockbuster success of Brady Armstrong's new movie, Vanishing Destiny, wouldn't we all prefer to turn our attention to record ticket sales and the squeals of delighted fans across the nation? But, alas, we have come together today over tragedy, not triumph. You've reached the Library of Congress. The manuscript's office is now closed. Please call back during regular business hours. It's 1330 Washington Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63101. Please send the package in care of Nicholas Falcone or myself, Nancy Drew. I can't tell you how grateful I am, Mr. Trout. You might just be a lifesaver. Miss Drew, I assure you, Sherman Trout is a man of his word. Thanks so much. Bye. I see. Well, this sounds urgent. I suppose I can take a look. That would be such a help, Mr. Trout. If you find anything, could you overnight it to me at the Royal Palladium? Well, I certainly can't send you the document itself. It's a historical artifact now. But I could send you a slide. 
What's the street address there, if I find anything? And what can you possibly be hoping to find in the Houdini collection that would help matters? Mr. Houdini was part owner of the theater, and I'm trying to find out who inherited his half or what became of it when he died. I'm hoping Houdini might have discussed it somewhere in his personal documents. If I can prove that the current owner is not legally the full owner, then maybe I can get the demolition stopped and save Maya. Mr. Trout, if I don't solve this case in a matter of hours, the building I'm standing in will be demolished and an innocent 19-year-old girl, a friend of mine, may lose her life. You may be my only hope. Why is your friend in danger? She was kidnapped by someone desperate to save this building from demolition. Well, Miss Drew, I'm sorry if you have logistical constraints, but please understand my own limitations. The Library of Congress currently holds over 40 million items, contained in 10,000 separate collections. It's the largest and most comprehensive library in the world. I simply don't have time to run research errands for the individual citizens. Ah, yes. Eustacia was most helpful to us when we were assembling our Houdini collection. I presume you'd like to have a look at it? Yes, please, Mr. Trout. I'm very interested. Fine. Well, you'll just need to register with the library when you get here and fill out a request for the materials you wish to view. When your request has been processed, the materials will be delivered to one of our reading rooms where you can view them. Mr. Trout, please let me explain. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to come to Washington, D.C. to do research. I'm hoping you could help me find a document. Manuscripts? Uh, I'm trying to reach Sherman Trout, please. Speaking, how may I help you? Hi, Mr. Trout. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case that involves Harry Houdini and the Royal Palladium Theater in St. Louis. Eustacia Andropov recommended I call you. <clears throat> Thank you. All for coming. I'm only sorry that the circumstances of our meeting are not more festive. <laughs> that is pure garbage. No, not again. Well, fix it, Cecil. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Call me later. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that. I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. Bye bye Bye. Bye now. Love ya. Ciao. Wait, you haven't given me your cell phone number. He probably just said that to impress you. Oh, he's just whining because I made him chop off his ponytail. I don't know what's gotten into him with this free will thing. I told him... You can't even dress yourself, kid, but if you want your blockbuster career to crash and burn, go ahead, manage yourself. Oh, please, Nancy, I was on the phone, doing business. But if I'm ever hard-pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. Fifty grand, what a joke. Isn't it just like a rank amateur to jump on the bandwagon? Anyone with a pinch of class would have demanded at least a million. Yeah. I just saw him fall off a potato truck. Why don't you tell that little gray troll that I think he did it? Just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump. That's my comment. New project. Well, he didn't get the Australian gig. And then he told me he needed some personal time before he takes on another big role, so I haven't lined up anything for him. What project? Uh, I discovered him on an electric spring morning six years ago. He was working the original Coney Dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. It was pure luck. I was craving an all-beef frank at 7 a.m. He's been the jewel in my crown ever since. Of course, we'd have to think of a stage name. Nancy Drew is so utterly forgettable. Perhaps I went a little overboard. All right, I sent the stupid wreath, but I'm no kidnapper. I needed something for the cameras, didn't I? And it was a very tasteful arrangement. Should have been for 300 bucks. You broke into my personal property. I could have you arrested for that. Well, in that instance, I was trying to find the best light to show off my star's fabulous cheekbones. Was that so wrong? I don't know what you're talking about, sugar. Listen, the pressure must really be getting to you. I know a top-notch aromatherapist in town, okay? I'll give you her number. I had it moved out front for the press conference. We want the press to know just how heartless this kidnapper is, don't we? 
then it's all the more fabulous when Brady saves the day. I've invited the press here today to report on Brady's commitment to solving this case. You know, a few questions, a few photo ops, no big deal. That funeral wreath was awful, wasn't it? Just to make sure this case isn't falling below the public radar. And besides, it's not for sure she's in the building. Brady's out plastering those posters all over St. Louis and every podunk town for 50 miles. He's due back at any time, though, for the press conference. Maya's on the poster. It says she's missing. So what's your issue? Not necessarily. I just have to be more creative about my publicity if I couldn't use photos. After Brady found her press pass, of course. Yes, thankfully she's photogenic. Honey, you've got spunk. Ever consider acting? This girl power thing is red hot right now. Trust me, I'm the queen of the happy ending. But what could be better for the image of an on-screen hero than to save someone in real life, huh? Agents wait their whole careers for a chance like this. I'm proposing a business alliance. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. We don't have to see eye to eye. Listen, doll, I'm from L.A. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. We'll find your friend, or Brady Armstrong will, and when he does, every girl in America will wish she'd been kidnapped instead of Maya What's-Her-Name. Yes, precisely. Ha! Huh. River Heights. Yes, precisely. Ha! Huh. River Heights. <laughs> Where are you from? Of course. I mean, a kidnapping? Right out of my star's dressing room? The premiere is small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. Of course. I mean, a kidnapping? Right out of my star's dressing room? The premiere is small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. I said, scram. Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. This calls priority. Try me later. What's the status? Have you seen the posters? Aren't they fabulous? How about Fancy Jackson? It's a little disco, but I think you could pull it off. On your stage name? I'm thinking Samantha Quick. You love it, right? How's progress? Nancy Drew, Simone Mueller. Don't worry, Vanishing Destiny is off. We've got bigger fish to fry. Can't you see I'm on the phone here? Miss Drew, I empathize. As a police officer, I know how emotional attachment to a case can cloud your judgment. Take it from me. It's time for you to let this one go and leave the case to the professionals. You're just not thinking clearly. Sure, Sergeant Ramsey. Thanks for the advice. Goodbye, dear. Actually, you might be interested to know that we've had about a half a dozen calls here since last night. People are reporting seeing Maya north of here. And then this ransom call came this morning from Granite City. You'll be glad to know we're following up on all these leads. I don't believe it! I don't know what to tell you, Miss Drew. You searched the magician's room under the stage? Did Joseph Hughes show you where it was? He showed us all right. We searched the whole theater. But our efforts were totally inconclusive. Wherever your friend is, she's not in the theater. She's in the theater. I know she is. The kidnapper wants the demolition stopped, so what better leverage than to hold her in the theater? Missing persons, Ramsey here. Sergeant Ramsey, what's going on? I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I'm very upset. This is Nancy Drew. What do you mean there was no evidence? So you think the kidnapper's been using this secret room as a base camp? Well, this is very interesting, Miss Drew. It sounds like you've been conducting quite a search. Now will you please send someone over to investigate? Yep. Just bear with me while I try to find an available car. Help is on the way, Miss Drew. Great. Bye. Good grief. This girl's a regular Houdini. All right. What have you got for me? I found a secret room under the stage. I saw Maya through a peephole. But by the time I got into the room, she was gone. The kidnapper must have moved her. A peephole, huh? Are you sure you saw her? Sir, there's evidence. Pizza boxes and one of Maya's shoes. I left everything where it was so you could see for yourself. Missing persons, this is Ramsey. Sergeant Ramsey, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Miss Drew. I found Maya. You found her? So the case is closed. I found her, and then she disappeared again. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. 
Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada, yada, yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon here with this whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. And last year there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is that right? I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddad is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Is the past damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass, and she would not willingly leave it behind. Missing persons, this is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey, this is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. St. Louis Police Department. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold. You've reached the St. Louis Police Department. This is a non-emergency line. Calls will be answered in the order they will receive. All operators are busy helping other callers. We will be with you as soon as possible. Your patience is appreciated. Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps their captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force, it's 24 hours. Thanks, Sergeant. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye. It came from outer space. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped. Unlikely. With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours. How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. I don't know how to contact them. Okay, miss. I'll file this report. After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person and begin to investigate. No suspects. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the voice? Was it a man or a woman?
It was spooky. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. Physical description? She's Asian American, I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall, and I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Missing person, Sergeant Mac Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping, no longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. St. Louis Police Department. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Well, if it isn't the SLPD's favorite nosy detective. Right this way, Miss Drew. You can still get a front row seat for the demolition. All clear in here, Sarge. See anything, Dino? Hey, Dino, check the projection room. Larry, you check the stage area. Gretchen, the dressing rooms. Dino and I will cover the rest. Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. You've reached the St. Louis Police Department. This is a non-emergency line. Calls will be answered in the order they will receive. All operators are busy helping other callers. We will be with you as soon as possible. Your patience is appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Oh, so close, but no cigar. <laughs> oh, too bad. Try again. Ooh, I'm sorry. Perhaps you need your eyes checked. <laughs> Congratulations. You've beat the magician. Don't forget to collect your winnings. <laughs> Don't blink. You might miss something. <laughs> the hand is quicker than the eye. Keep your eye on the card. Keep your eye on the ace of spades. Find the ace of spades. Beat the magician. Win a prize. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Ha <laughs> ha.